Fair Shares Community Organisation, we've got uh, four staff, but we really are run by volunteers. Our board is made up of volunteers, and on any given day in the kitchen, we've got 30 volunteers who are giving up their time freely uh, to come and make meals that we then give away to charities. Just about giving out, helping other people who are less fortunate than myself. I've been working at Fair Share for about eight weeks and I come on a Friday morning. Um, yeah, I've been a volunteer for about two years, then they created a job and I've been working here for about four years all up. I've been coming, I think this is about my sixth time, six weeks. I retired five years ago and um, back then it was One Umbrella and I'd read an article about it and I was totally inspired by it. I thought I'll go and volunteer with that place. A one day a week job came up and I took the job and it's sort of increased into like about 15 days a week but it's fantastic <laughs> and that was five six years ago but i just i'd been sick last year and um i had breast cancer and i had chemotherapy and when i was having the chemotherapy there were volunteers there giving us drinks and icy poles and all sorts of things and helping us and i thought well, when i get through my illness I would like to do some voluntary work and then I saw it advertised in the Herald Sun that they were needing people to chop up vegetables for the pies and I thought oh that's something I could do, non-thinking, relaxing and it's not stressful and I felt as if I could help people that way. Every day we've got this challenge, how do you make tasty nutritious food that's safe to give away and be consumed? So we've got two chefs who are highly trained and they supervise the volunteers, they instruct them on how to make food in a safe way. But they also think about, well, how do we make this tasty without compromising it from being healthy? So it's a day-by-day it's a -day, uh, creative process. from the races yesterday, it's all really, it hasn't even gone out of the fridge, so it's all really good food. Yep. And our driver goes to all different sorts of places and picks up. Oh, sometimes it's food that's prepared like this, other times it's, you know, meals, parts of meals and all that sort of thing. It's stuff that hasn't been touched by other people. Um, well, ours has got a few different reasons to exist, and I think the the, probably the greatest reason is because there are so many people in need out there in our community. Um, we know at the moment we're giving to nearly 90 different agencies, um, so that's a lot of people, that's a lot of clients, and we're moving on at the moment about 37,000 meals a month. In today's society, so much food is wasted. There's food that businesses throw out, there's food that is thrown out by households. Uh, we exist to, to capture that food and to help people in need. Uh, on any given night uh, in Melbourne, 20,000 people uh, don't have a roof over their heads. 20,000 people are homeless. And if we can capture this food that is being otherwise thrown out and give it to, um, give to people in need in the form of meals, then that's making a real difference. Mm -hmm.